ambient temperature sensor w126 hello everyone nice to have you all back we checked the functioning of the ambient temperature sensor if you get weird temperatures on your display here you might find the culprit how to find it how to check it where to look for it in the first place this is today's topic The ambient temperature sensor is sitting right here. You need to remove between firewall and windscreen this plastic cover on the driver side. How to remove it without damaging anything will be shown when I assemble it afterwards. Back to the sensor, an NTC, negative temperature coefficient. Resistance is decreasing when temperatures are increasing. Resistance is increasing when temperatures are decreasing. They are similar to the ones we use in our 107 to measure the temperature of the cabin. The wires lead back to the engine bay where I bridge them for my multimeter. Please see picture on the left hand side. Now let us measure resistance with this multimeter. I now get 4K ohm displayed for some 12 Celsius in the workshop. I'll show you a chart with some guidelines what temperatures equals ohm as an overview. Decreasing resistance on the display due to increasing temperatures. They hide them right in here. You see? I'll switch on my heat gun, keep it some 30 centimeters away from the sensor, see how the resistance is dropping on the display, you see? The drop down chart is right here on the left hand side. This is the fastest and easiest way to look for culprits if you get weird temperatures on your display of your cluster. Mind you, I enjoy the warm breeze of the heat gun right in here. We now assemble everything, put everything back in place. There is a rectangular hole for the sensor right here. Put this rubber seal properly in place to make sure the water gets in the drain over here. Left hand side is a drain hole. Would not be wrong to give it a chat of compressed air to remove clogging dirt and sand in the tube, which is going downwards. It happens very often and then the water is trapped here, right here, and corrosion starts spreading and you get a headache removing it. Use some Vaseline to make that seal smooth. It has to fit snugly into that plastic cover right to the edge to prevent water intrusion at the wrong place. Do not forget to put those two metal clips back into place. Then slide in snugly and properly this rubber seal which prevents water intrusion from the top when hood is closed. It presses against the hood when closed to keep this part protected from water, moisture etc. I now reconnect the wires that were bridged and slide it in a clip which is right here at the firewall. Next step. Put the lid of the fuse box back in place. These plastic pins go in here to hold the cover in place. That's about it. Thank you. 
An easy task it is to check the NTC sensor of a W126 from 1985 onwards. With S-Class models of previous series, you find this sensor at the very same spot. Hope you have liked it. Thank you for watching and looking forward to seeing you around next time with another topic. Bye bye everyone.